Hey everyone, I'm Max. Welcome to Out of Spec Guy, the channel where we show you as a new you know, EV buyer, EV owner, how to do a lot of things. Today's video is about Electrify America. So if my cameraman flips around, you can see we're at an Electrify America station. Let's say you just pulled up, you have no idea what's going on, you need to get your car charged. Well, first step is figuring out, can your car actually accept the station? Let's show you what's going on with the Chevy Bolt I have here today, my colleague's Ryan, uh, Ryan's car. So it's got what's called the CCS connection. So it has this circle, but it also has these chunky boy pins right here. That means it can accept um, combined charging system, which is what Electrify America uses to charge. Now there is one other exception. Let's say your car has different looking plugs. I'm actually gonna show you right here, there's a Nissan Leaf currently charging uh, on Electrify America using a different plug called Chadmo. So if I show you what that plug looks like really briefly, you can see uh, it's, usually colored blue at Electrify America. Usually these stations only have one or two Chadmo plugs. There's only one stall with them. So you've got to make sure to use that stall. Um, and I'm sorry if you're outside of California and you're dealing with a new Electrify America station, a lot of them aren't including Chadmo anymore. So if it doesn't have this port, your leaf is out of luck. And let's go back to the bolt and show you one more thing. Let's say your outlet is um, circular doesn't have those fast charging pins, then you're also out of luck at Electrify America. Electrify America only does direct current charging um, with this shape. If you just have the circle, then we have other videos for you, uh, but not for Electrify America. So let's get into actually charging and in the next clip. So the quickest way to activate Electrify America, you just pulled in, you don't want to deal with an app, totally fine. They have card readers. So the first thing to do is find your car, right, where the charging port is. In this case, on the bolt, it's on the front. So we actually pulled into the station. Make sure you park correctly because these cables aren't particularly long. So we're going to open up our port and you can see here what that looks like, right? That CCS, combined charging system. Your vehicle will probably have some kind of flap in this bolt, it's this orange thing, but you open this up reveal that full bad boy. Then you're gonna take this CCS connector and you're going to plug into the car. Now be warned, these cables, uh, they're gonna require a lot of strength. They're kind of heavy and uh, stiff. So I'm just gonna plug it in, especially when it gets cold, these cables do get sort of hard to manipulate. You're gonna hear a click and then you're gonna see on the station, there's this screen here, right? It might be hard to see with the glare, but it says connecting the vehicle. And now we're gonna be prompted once it connects to the vehicle, it takes a few seconds to kind of have a handshake and communicate to pay with a credit card or a mobile wallet. That would mean Apple Pay, right? Tap your phone. In this case, I have a card with contactless. So I'm gonna just tap my card on the card reader. It'll process the payment. If I had chip or pin, I would do that just like in a merchant terminal and I'm approved and we're gonna start charging. So that time it worked really well, but I do have to say a lot of times, unfortunately on these stations, these card readers just aren't particularly reliable. If they're down for some reason, we'll direct to the next part of this video where I'm gonna show you how to activate using the Electrify America app. So how do you get the Electrify America app on your phone? Well, that depends. If you have an iPhone, you're gonna look up the App Store. That's Apple's App Store. Then on a Google or Android phone, in this case, it's a Motorola phone that runs Android, we just go to the Play Store app. So you'll find your App Store app, uh, and then you're just gonna go and search on that app, and you're gonna search for Electrify America because they have a mobile app. So I've already searched it here. I'm gonna type it in. Um, and then you can see the app is pulled up. So we're gonna download it on both of these phones. And the next step, once the app is downloaded, is making an account. So we're gonna show you how to do that in the next clip. Okay, so on iPhone, we're gonna get a prompt asking if Electrify American user our location. I believe a prompt on Android similar. You're gonna to have to allow it at least while using the app so that the app can help you find the charger you're at and locate chargers. Then we have this start screen. We're gonna hit let's go, this big green guy. Then let's say you don't have an account yet. We're gonna create one. So you're gonna hit this and then it'll take you through a workflow where you enter your name uh, and then your email. I already have an account, so I'll skip this, but this is what you do to make an account. On an iPhone, you have a shortcut to enable Face ID, or if your phone has a fingerprint sensor, what Apple calls Touch ID. So I like to use that. It makes signing into Electrify America quicker once you've made your, your account or you're signed in. So I'm going to hit Enable for that. It's going to use my Face ID, so super nice. Then I will also want to enable notifications. This is really important for this step because enabling notifications means when you're done charging, your phone's going to send you an alert and you'll know. So I'm going to hit Allow. Then I'm, it says, Welcome to Electrify America. Do you currently drive or have you regularly driven a fully electric vehicle or a plug-in hybrid? Yes, that's why I downloaded the app. So I'm going to hit that. Uh, and then you can actually give the car your the app, your make and model, and that's going to help kind of basically um, prioritize which chargers it directs to you. Just, you know, give them some useful information. So feel free to input this for your car. I've put in that I have a Chevy Bolt here. This is a 2017 model year car. And you can check this as my first electric vehicle in the app. Uh, if for many of you watching, that might be the case. Feel free to check that. Then we're going to hit this green continue. 
Now you can see it shows us stations around on the map. So I can pinch and zoom on the map here. We've got the station right next to us, um, known as the 29th Street Mall, Electrify America. You can see it right there in person. If I look back on my phone screen here, it shows me all of the stalls. So one, two, three, and four. Right now, four is available. That only has CCS. Those, these don't seem to be working right now, and these stations are known to have some issues. So we're gonna have separate videos on this channel about troubleshooting Electrify America. But hopefully everything's working, so let's show you activation with the app. Here in the Electrify America app, so right, Pass versus Pass Plus. Let's go to my account and you can see what's going on here. So I'm in that account screen right on the bottom right here, and you can see Electrify America plans. I'm on their normal pass. I don't pay a monthly fee, so that means I pay a higher rate for electricity. I'm paying 43 cents per kilowatt hour, or if I'm billed per minute, which you are at some stations, you can see these rates below. I have the option in the app of upgrading to a Pass Plus membership. I could also do this on their website. That means if I just fast charge regularly, even once a month, it's actually worth it. So $4 a month there, I'm gonna hit that. That'll take me uh, to this screen. I'll have to agree here, select this plan, and then it's gonna take me into a confirm and pay screen. And from then on, you just pay uh, with your details. So you're gonna enter your billing information. Um, so right now, looks like I just signed up for Pass Plus. That's great. Also on the account screen, you do have to enter your billing information before you set up. So because I have an account, I already have this in here, but I'll show you where to find it. You're on account, right? Then you're gonna go and scroll to where it says payment under payment and plans. I have this here and you can see I have an EA balance currently. Now, I don't honestly recommend keeping a high balance on a Legend of America card. You're just letting them rack up interest, just like Starbucks, Chipotle, you know, every app loves to have uh, auto reload functionality. So you can have the app automatically reload. I would just set it to the minimum, which for me is $10. Uh, and so you're gonna see save cards here, right? That's just where you go to enter your credit card information. I won't show you that because that's my card number, but that is how you just enter your debit or credit card information. And then you have auto reload here on the screen to get funds. So I've got a balance of $8 so far. So let's go back here and um, let's find on the map, right? The charger we're at. So you can see it's the one that's we're close to you might look it might look a little further from you on gps but it's you know there's only one in this area so we're going to select it we're going to tap on that blue lightning bolt uh, and then it'll give us the station information we're going to scroll down and we'll see all the available chargers now this is the important part look on the charger uh, and you're going to have to look at the top of the charger it's a little bit uh, tall sometimes but you'll see a number so see how this station ends with zero two that means we're gonna select stall 02 on the app. So if I go back on the app, I'm gonna select 02 here um, to activate it. And then you can see uh, that it is ready to go. So all I have to do at this point, I'm on the Pass Plus membership. I'm just gonna swipe to start charging. It's initiating charging, it might take a bit. And now if we look on the charging screen, um, it's actually gonna tell us to plug in. So it looks like it's ready. So let's get out of the car right now and plug in. So it's ready, please plug in. I'm gonna open up here. I'm gonna open my CCS flap on this bolt and then take out the big chunky CCS connector and then click it in. And these can, cables can get kind of stiff in the cold, so be careful when you're handling them. They are quite heavy. So insert it, you'll hear a click. Your vehicle will probably make an alert. And then on the screen, you're gonna see it says connecting to vehicle. You're gonna to have to wait a little bit. Sometimes this does take a bit. If you encounter errors or troubleshooting, there is that Electrify America support number we're gonna put in the description. Initiating charging, here we go. It's starting. We're getting the goods. So we're charging Electrify America, you can see on the app here. Now for future activations, one of the easiest methods I really like to do is I go into my account screen here. I actually scroll down, you can see an option on iPhone, add to Apple Wallet. On Android, I believe there's a Google Wallet option. You're gonna select this, and then you can actually view your Electrify America Pass in Apple Wallet. Uh, so I'm gonna do that here. You can see that's my pass. So now I can have it right ready in my Apple Wallet, and if I do the Apple Pay shortcut on my phone, uh, I can just tap my phone to the station's terminal. So if my cameraman pans around, you can see these stations have that contactless um, icon. That's where you can just tap your phone to, and it's super convenient. I've also found sometimes it can be more reliable than activating through the app. Okay, you're at a comfortable state of charge. You're where you want to be uh, for your next stop. So time to end charging. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on this charging screen. We're going to have to 
touch here to return back to the main charging screen and you can see there's an option stop in the lower right we're just going to hit that and that will end our charging session um, there you see summary of everything charging time how much that cost us uh, all there and we're good you just might have heard a click on camera that means this cable is unlocked some cars like the volkswagen id4 will actually have an unlock button you might have to press on the key just to make sure that the charging handle is fully disconnected you'll know that it's disconnected when you're able to just click this button and take it out smoothly like that some of these require a little bit of force then you can close your charging flap on your vehicle like in this bolt this orange guy uh, make sure all your stuff is closed and then your charging ports there be a good citizen return the handle courteously and then um, repark somewhere else because as you can see from this sign behind my cameraman uh, you can incur fines for uh, sitting at a charger while not charging so please do park somewhere else but yeah that's how you unplug and end charging some advice on charging habits. So I always recommend, let's say you see a line of other drivers at the station, only really fill up to what you need with a safety buffer to get you to that next stop. Uh, also, something to note about most electric cars, let's say you're down at a low state of charge, that's actually when they charge quickest. Once you get above 50, 60%, most cars tend to slow down their charging speed. So you're kind of helping yourself and helping everybody by just getting to what you need. It saves you time, it saves everyone else in line time. So that's a common courtesy that I like to use. Another thing I really want to point out is that uh, Electrify America stations are known to have many issues. Let's say there's uh, some error you're having, troubleshooting, you can always use another stall or another charger, but there's also a help center number for Electrify America. We're going to include that number down here uh, and in the video description, so feel free to call them. Uh, please do report chargers that are down or issues you encounter. It helps everyone as well and hopefully gets you back on the road. Electrify America stalls have two plugs, and this might lead you to believe that, oh, maybe you can charge two cars at once on them. Unfortunately, that's not the case. The reason they have two plugs is sort of redundancy. It's sort of just the hardware they bought. I think it's super confusing, but one thing I always like to tell you is, well, you see someone else plugged in with one of these plugs, uh, don't assume you can use this plug and activate because that's going to end their charging session. These stalls can only charge one car at a time. A top tip I have for Electrify America station selection. So. You just charge, you know, you want to charge quickly, that's fine. You can pull up to any station. You're not going to get pen penalized for getting to the wrong number, but there are these different ratings for stations. So you can see, for instance, this station is CCS rated up to 150 kilowatts. There are some stations that are rated up to 350 kilowatts. So let's say your car is capable of those higher charging speeds. It's one of the marketing bullet points for your vehicle. Vehicles like the Hyundai Ionic 5 have this functionality. You can pull up to those 350 kilowatt stations and take advantage of faster charging speeds. If several stations are open and your car is slower, uh, let's say it's like a Volkswagen ID4, well then you can pull up to one of these 150 kilowatt stations just fine. You're not going to see much slower charging at all. So that's something I want to note. You're charging with Electrify America and we showed you how to unplug and all of that station activation. So hopefully this video was helpful to you. Stay tuned to the Out of Spec Guide channel where I'm gonna have lots more tutorials on Electrify America troubleshooting, uh, other issues, how to find stations for your car, how to select the right station. If you've got ideas, if you've got questions, that's what the channel is here for. Please comment or send us an email. We're gonna have our email in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a good, hopefully mostly trouble-free experience charging at Electrify America on the road.